Hundreds gathered tonight in Aiken to grieve for a fallen sheriff's investigator, Steven Sandberg. When you lose someone, it's not just a police officer, it's not just a neighbor, it's a member. People line the street as a motorcade escorted investigator Sandberg's body from St. Paul back to his hometown of Aiken. The lights on emergency vehicles flashed to honor the officer who died in the line of duty. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily was there for the emotional tribute. There were few dry eyes as the Aiken community came together in sadness and disbelief over the loss of Aiken County investigator Stephen Sandberg. It's, just, it's so senseless. I just don't know what to say. Rob Williams coaches Sandberg's daughter. We're told watching Cassie play basketball was one of his greatest joys. We grew up in a small community, and we love this community because we're so close. Most in the small town know the 73 Aiken High School grad and the sheriff's investigator who was a longtime volunteer firefighter. I can't imagine losing such a wonderful man. He was the sweetest, nicest man you ever knew. I want small, small. That you are willing to give your whole life for what you are doing. And indeed, Steve showed us. Hundreds lined the street as Sandberg's body was brought home. Words can't describe just the, the feeling of loss that everybody has right now. Firefighters saluted the procession of vehicles, which included Sandberg's wife, Christy, and his daughter. And just to see the, the squad cars go by as we watched them go by and see the people out on the street corners and, and uh, on the sidewalks along the road, they, they were overcome. When you lose someone, it's not just a police officer, it's not just a neighbor, it's a member of <laughs> Sheriff Turner told me Sandberg's wife and daughter are overwhelmed by the community and law enforcement support from near and far. Investigator Steven Sandberg will be laid to rest on Friday. He is the first deputy in Aiken County to lose his life in the line of duty. Jennifer, thank you. Uh, meanwhile, the man who killed Investigator Sandberg threatened to kill his wife and tried to kill himself last week. Deputies say Danny Hammond held his wife at gunpoint after she said she wanted to leave him. She told investigators that he locked all the doors in their home and then shut the windows and removed the handles. She convinced him to let her go the next day. Deputies later found Hammond in critical condition after he tried to kill himself. Investigator Sandberg was keeping an eye on him as he recovered at St. Cloud Hospital. He was able to get his weapon away and kill him. He faced 11 felony charges for the incident with his wife. Hammond died after a hospital security officer used a taser on him. Stay with WCCO for continuing coverage of Investigator Sandberg's death.